Hi folks, this is Max from Nexus4Root.com. Today I'm going to show you how to back up uh, your ROM and also restore your ROM. This is very good uh, if you want to install a couple different ROMs uh, or if you mess up, you end them in a boot loop, you can always restore your ROM. Backing up ROM backs up your settings, your apps, pretty much everything except for the contents of your media storage such as personal photos and videos. Um, so, you know, it'll, it'll also back up your uh, app data. Uh, everything, pretty much the whole ROM, um, everything you see here, it can be backed up. So let's do this. Uh, I assume you've already rooted your Nexus 4. If you haven't, go ahead and root it. Uh, I have instructions on my site, nexus4root.com. And uh, if you've rooted your phone, you probably have some kind of uh, custom recovery installed. I recommend Clockwork Mod Recovery. And uh, you can also use ROM Manager to do it. But f this time, I'll show you how to use, uh, just do it manually. Uh, so go ahead and power off your phone and you're going to hold down volume down and the power button all right and you're going to go down to uh recovery mode there we go is my camera picking it up there we go recovery mode all right and this will get into uh get you into clock on my recovery the reason i showed you that is because you know in case um you know, you end up in a boot loop, you'll know how to get into Clockwork Mod Recovery manually. But you can also use ROM Manager. So here, all you're going to do is go to Backup and Restore. Oops. Yeah, go back. Backup and Restore. And hit Backup. And make sure you have enough space. Usually a backup ROM is around, I don't know, anywhere between uh, 300 megabytes. Well, around two, 300 megabytes. So make sure you have enough space. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and back up. And it will start backing up. Um, and uh, you'll show you I have four gigs left and uh, it's probably gonna take about 200 megabytes um, if you have a lot of apps that could be a lot more now you can take these backups and save it uh, if you it'll create a uh, folder called clockwork mod uh, in your internal storage go ahead and copy the whole folder to your hard disk and uh, when you want to restore you can copy the whole folder back to your phone but I recommend at least having one backup ROM um, on your internal storage uh, since this one, this Nexus 4 does not have an external SD card so that's a great way to um, restore your stuff if something goes wrong so I'm going to go ahead and back up, this should take another like 5 minutes, 10 minutes, about 5 minutes and uh, I'll be back so my backup has finished now, um, if I want to restore my ROM, you'll do the same thing and uh, simply go to restore and you'll see uh, it's been time stamped and you'll see the folder it's in, so Clockwork Mod. Now don't just back up the actual folder name because with the new Clockwork Mod recovery, it uses uh, these things, I forget what it's called, but uh, anyway, you have to back up the whole thing um, if you want to you know, copy it over to your hard disk and uh, make sure you copy the whole folder clockwork mod because it has everything you need um, that's just one note and you can also change the folder names just make sure uh, when you rename these folders uh, using like ES File Explorer or you can connect it to your computer uh, don't have any spaces then uh, you'll get some kind of uh, MD5 error when you're restoring so that's that noted you'll see I have two backups here uh, I backed up twice today I guess um, so go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and restore the latest one uh, I think it's the one on the the bottom here and uh, say yes and this will restore uh, your ROM so let's say you boot looped um, you're installing your ROM or maybe you're another uh, you install another ROM but you're having some Wi-Fi problems and you want to go back to your previous ROM now if you made a backup you simply go back into clock clock mod recovery and uh, backup or sorry, restore your ROM and boom, you'll be back on whatever ROM you're on with all of your apps, all of your Gmail settings, all of that. Um, now it's not going to touch anything in your internal storage such as uh, personal photos and videos. So this is a great way to uh, try different ROMs without, you know, starting all over or, um, you know, you can always go back to your previous ROM. So I'll be back when this is done restoring. I should take about five minutes and uh, we'll reboot and check that um, we just backed up and restored whatever ROM we had on there. Hi folks, so it is done and uh, if you didn't get any errors, you see I didn't get any errors, um, I should be good to go and I'm going to hit go back and reboot system now. 
and uh, I should be back on whatever I had before and that's how you can back up and restore your ROMs um, it's a great way to you know have a backup uh, of whatever your ROM and uh, you know it, it will save you in those cases where you end up in a boot loop uh, whatever and uh, also you can actually you know for some reason you broke your your phone screen and uh, you actually copied over your whole Clockwork Mod folder to your computer then you can get another Nexus 4, root it, install Clockwork Mod Recovery, copy over that backup you had on your hard disk, put it back in your Nexus 4 and boom you're back you don't have to uh, start over you have got all your apps all your settings all your contacts back and as you can see it looks exactly the same uh, back on my AOKP ROM and uh, that's it so you know that's how you back up and restore ROMs make sure you make a backup ROM if you first root it to your phone um, that way you always have a backup and uh, as always if you have a Nexus 4 don't forget to sign up for my email list at nexus4root.com we update you once a week with ROM of the week tips hacks and more and also if you're on YouTube please hit that like button for me here subscribe button up there and I'll see you guys later